welcome to Sculpture Studios. Today you're joining us for not only some downtime but some upside down time as we're running up that road and running up that hill just a little. You see what I did there? The Stranger Things series basically blew up Netflix and became somewhat of a phenomenon. Taking us back to the 80s, this nostalgia trip has resurrected songs and styles, influencing fashion and, in this case, footwear. The British origin shoe brand Clarks created what we imagined to be a limited special edition selection of Stranger Things footwear. Styling out particular branches of their franchise, this is now where we come in. Being set up in Westfield in White City, London, the interior of the Clark shop is being transformed somewhat to resemble the Hawkins High School, with the front window display now requiring something from the other side. We've been commissioned to create some tentacle-like tendrils, much like those featured in the Netflix series that are present around the rift portals to the Upside Down world. The project brief comes with a couple of catches. Not only is this required very quickly, but it also needs to break down for transportation and be able to fit through a very tight doorway into the store. With all of this in mind, we're using a mild steel studded rod which we can bend into shape to form the bones of the sculpture. We're now bulking this out with a polyurethane expanding foam, mainly for flexibility. Later on in the process, you'll see how beneficial this flexibility is and how it saves the sculpture from needing to be created in many, many more pieces, which basically would be awkward to fit together on site. Hopefully, this proves to be a valuable solution for the client and for the crew setting up at the other end. After it's had time to set, the polyurethane foam can then be trimmed to shape with a sharp knife. Quite often, glass fibre is used to finish our sculptures, but in this instance, we're going to be finishing this in latex. This is once again very much favouring a flexible finish and can be applied by brush in multiple layers. It's quite often the case when we're creating trees for something like a school installation where you don't realise just how long it takes to wrap all of the branches in glass fibre, get everything nice and neat, having to sand it down and then go over the whole form again with a resin flow coat finish. This latex application of effectively painting the finish straight onto the sculpture is a much welcome one. The latex is effective for both an indoor display that isn't really going to be touched, well we, we assume it isn't going to be touched, but you do get little explorers every so often, I mean I know I would, and the fact that we think it's only going to be there in situ for perhaps a couple of weeks. on the tentacles so far. Still got a few days to go, but the majority of the, uh, all the internal metal work, all of the foam over the top, and the base layer of the artwork's all been completed. What we have here, we have one metalwork ring underneath this, keeps that all together, and we have a one metalwork on top, which comes off and just bolts on. Set this one up, put the ring on top, And all of these are going to be welded to that top ring in, in, in this kind of fashion. And I think going to a maximum of 2.8 meters tall. And you can get them through a door like that. Not only is the metalwork inside, as you can see, flexible, but uh, on top of the foam, um, we've gone over with a latex so that the whole thing um, remains nice and manageable, but um, has kind of a durable coat on top so you can get this through the door and you can fit it into the space and kind of tailor position everything um, for how you need it. And we've um, put nice vein work in here. Once uh, I start to do the artwork, it'd be pre uh, predominantly black, but these veins like triffid type things will be more red and veiny, so you'll, they'll stand out nicely a nice contrast to the rest of it. But they're all latex and they all can move. 
So they're nice and flexible, so you, you won't you won't damage them at all, and they have that metal work that comes out the bottom. Yeah, I think like whoever lifts these up are going to have to put them up and hold them in place, and then wire them up to the ceiling. So you can just do this or do this and lift it up higher, like if you need to. A little bit of red detailing over the extra veins and a dusting of black spray just to blend everything in and we think it's looking pretty much there. And here we are with the finished Stranger Things inspired sculpture. I feel that once the window here and the two walls are either side it will hold everything together nice and comfortably. And Aiden's just going around now and labeling what section is the top and what section is the bottom. So that basically the only thing they should need to do is place one on top of the other, three bolts, and then make sure everything is tucked in nice and securely so that it fits nice and comfy on site. Down here, we've got a couple of spare pieces. These are just freestanding that can be placed or stuck onto the wall or hung from the ceiling, wherever they see fit. But the rest of this main body of the form should prove to fill up the window space quite nicely. Aiden's just gone on with a gloss lacquer to make it nice and shiny and wet and slippery looking. It's got the red vein work going all across the form, all of this on here. But the main thing is it's nice and flexible with this latex over the top. To be seen from all sides, so that when you go into the shop, you see it from 360 degrees from behind as well. And we hope that the clients and the venue are very happy with it. With everything now complete here in the studio, it's off to Westfield Shopping Centre in White City, where something strange is about to be installed at Clark's. We'd like to thank Greg Shire from B2B Exhibitions for coming to us with another fantastic project and we look forward to what's up next in the pipeline. We always love hearing what you guys at home think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below and by all means subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date on our latest videos. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects at the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board, and if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.